Hi, Sea Lions. Uh, chapter three here. Um, I'm still in the imagination hut um, up at the, my parents' cabin. It's just such a great place. And I figured chapter two is short. I might as well read chapter three in the imagination hut as well. So I hope you're enjoying the manzanita bushes behind me. And let's see what Stella does today. Monday morning. Nick walks me to my school before he heads over to Arlington Heights Middle School. He is about to say hi to his friend and then bye sis when Jenny runs over. She has a huge smile and then she twists around. I see why she's so happy. She has a new backpack. And it has glitter, sparkles, and a cat. Oh, it is very Jenny. Like it, she asks. Yes, I say. Thanks. I wanted to get one that looks like Anna's. Whose? I ask. There's Anna. Anna, she's in my class. She has the best taste. Jenny grins. Nick rolls his eyes. Girls. He does not like sparkles. And then he rubs my head and takes off as Jenny and I walk to our school. I almost forgot, Jenny says. I have litchi candy for you. My mom went to the Vietnamese market. She opens her backpack to give me the candy. I lick my lips. Jenny's family is from Vietnam, but unlike me, Jenny was born here in Chicago. Yum, I say, popping a piece in my mouth. Jenny nods and looks into her classroom. Oh, I see Anna. I have to show her my new backpack. See you at lunch, Stella. The backpack that looks like Anna's bounces as Jenny runs into the room. From where I am standing, I can see Jenny talking to Anna, but only the back of Anna's head. Who is this Anna? I think to myself. I sigh and look down at the best friend bracelet Jenny gave me over the summer. It suddenly looks smaller than usual, especially compared to a glittery backpack. I'm glad Jenny isn't lonely in her class, but she and I are the only ones who are supposed to match. If there was a rule book to being best friends, I'm sure rules on matching would be like the top ten easily. It's just part of being best friends. Luckily, I start being, feeling better as soon as I get to my room and see Miss Bell, standing in front of the whiteboard. She's wearing polka dots again. They're my favorite, she told us on the first day of class, which made me happy. Polka dots are my favorite, too. I sit down in my assigned seat as Miss Bell carefully starts to write our agenda for the day on the board. In perfect cursive handwriting, she squiggles. And I'll show you the perfect cursive handwriting. Library visit, sustained reading, lunch, story time, science. I copy it down in my spiral notebook. And then I add a sixth item to my schedule and draw a smiley face. Make a new friend. Today is going to be a good day, Miss Bell. Are you going to read from Help, I'm a Prisoner in the Library Again? Today after lunch, asked Chris Pollard. He's one of the loudest kids in our class and is best friends with Ben Shaw, the class clown. Seems only appropriate since we're visiting the library this morning, doesn't it? She says as she pushes her glasses up to the bridge of her nose. Hearing that makes me feel happy. Even though we can all read very well, Miss Bell reads out loud to us a little bit every day during story time kind of like I'm doing here to you. It's just one chapter, but it's like watching a play. I close my eyes, remembering how Miss Bell does all the great voices for all of the characters. Suddenly, the bell rings. I open my eyes. The classroom is full except for one empty seat where the new kid, a.k.a. my new friend, will sit. I bet she will have the best taste, even better then Anna's, and there's the new friend. I wonder who the new friend is going to be. We'll have to wait until chapter four to see. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Miss you until we meet again.